financial statements are obviously very important for, for every business, but they are by their nature backward looking statements. How did we do last month? How did we do last quarter? They're not really actionable. So by the time, I mean, by the time the books are closed and the financials are released, the period is over. You're looking in the rearview mirror, which is not, which is no way to drive. If on the other hand, the finance function can provide some forward looking information. Now you have insights that enable you to anticipate what's likely to happen and adapt your plans as appropriate. So at the very least, you can minimize surprises. I, I don't really like surprises when it comes to either revenue or expenses. Um, better yet, you can see how things are trending compared to plan and you can take action in a timely way. So it's a much better way to drive looking forward and around you with high visibility. So there are a number of ways that the finance function can provide tools that enable strategic planning for the business to, to look in a forward-looking direction. So two of the significant forward-looking functions that I've put into place here at Force Brands, the first one is essentially a predictive model of monthly revenue. So Force Brands, we primarily provide executive search services. And this tool, which has several years of data behind it, shows when our monthly revenue is booked over the course of a 60-day timeframe. And this curve, it's S-shaped, so we call it the S-curve. Uh, this allows us to predict not only our current month, but also next month. Are we on track to hit our goal? What are we trending toward, if not that exact number? So we have uh, also some other leading indicators that enable us to look even farther out, a few months even farther than the S-curve does. So rather than just reading last month's P&L, we're able to predict this month's and even next month's, which leads into another major uh, initiative that we've put out here, which is our dynamic forecast. It starts with, at the beginning of the year, our annual budgeted financials, but then we update it regularly with the latest information at hand. So it looks beyond revenues and into expenses and into profit margins. So that enables our financial conversations to become less about variance versus a static plan and more about what are our realistic expectations of what's to come in the current and in future months. So, and this is not only the, the P&L statement, but also the balance sheet and into the cash flow since, since especially in these economic times, cash position is so critical and important. How does the accounting and finance function then think about financial planning and how do they make this pivot to forward-looking uh, information? So one, I think you have to identify your leading indicators. What are the data points or metrics that you have that can help you predict the future? So for us, again, in executive search, how many jobs are we working on? What percentage of those do we typically fill? How long does it take us to fill them? Uh, what's a sales pipeline? Any of these things that you have at your disposal that enable you to see what you're working on and what's likely to come down the pipe. Secondly, I would encourage uh, finance to use dynamic forecasting, adaptive planning, whatever you want to call it, versus focusing on this static plan that you, you created a budget, you set it aside. Then the, the exercise really is, what do you know now that maybe you didn't before? What's the nature of those changes? Are there cost savings? Is it just timing? Keep updating what you know based on current information. So if you know your business and you know what's happening around you, you can keep your eyes on that road ahead.